Well, thanks for watching Numbskull News, and today we're going to get back into this college realignment crap. You know, there's been some news over the last couple of weeks. There has been some movement, and we learned that the Pac-12 is hundreds of millions of dollars <laughs> apart from ESPN. Now, that's not a few million. It's not a hundred million. It's hundreds of millions. Now, of course, that's over the life of the contract, but... Roughly speaking, that's probably around $10 million a school less than the Pac-12 need. And I say need because they're going broke. This, this is why UCLA, there's no way in hell they're not going to go to the Big Ten. Even though the uh, moron that they hired uh, to be the commissioner of the, of the Pac-12... The, the guy is an idiot. I'm sorry, but he's over here listing all these reasons not to go for UCLA to stay. And, uh, you know, oh, the travel is going to be horrible. I think, you know, think about the depression all these student athletes are going to have with all this travel. Yet, you know, they've tried like hell to make something with the ACC work, you know, some kind of a union there. And, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was a short trip from Oregon or Washington State to freaking Miami. <laughs> but th that's not going to do you any favors either on travel. It's not going to do anyone's uh, mental health any good. What a freaking idiot. Anyway, anyway, the guy who wrote the article that uh, there was hundreds of millions of dollars you know, separate from what ESPN wants and what the Pac-12 want. He said it was a lot to do with uh, competition. You can't just have uh, ESPN bidding against itself. You know, I mean, that's how you're going to get lowballed. And, you know, Fox doesn't want any part of it. Apparently, NBC and CBS are out. So the Pac-12 is going to try to talk to Amazon. That's That came out several weeks ago. And earlier this week, it's been revealed that the Big Ten... <laughs> Or also talking to Amazon to increase their TV deal. Uh, now that this screws the Pac-12 on two different fronts here, because if you're Amazon, what would you rather have? <laughs> you want Big Ten content, or do you want Pac-12? Uh, give me the Big Ten, obviously, right? Well, there's a very, very sound reason that the Big Ten are doing this. And it's also come out, once again, been reported once again that <laughs> the Big Ten are looking to add four teams from the Pac-12, which that would be Oregon, Washington, Stanford, and Cal. Like, we, like you know, this is what we've been hearing for months now. Now, they do have an escalator clause that, you know, would allow the Big Ten to expand further and add those teams. And look... They wouldn't get the hundred million with that escalator clause. It'd be more like sixty to seventy million a year. But, but if they find, if they do another deal, another TV deal with an Amazon with that streamer, that could make up the difference and get those teams to about a hundred million dollars. But this is why the Big Ten commissioner is doing that because not all the Big Ten presidents, you know, that's who he answers to. Uh, not all of them are on board with adding more teams from the Pac-12. However, uh, Commissioner Warren, uh, very wisely, because he, he, look, he knows, look, look, you know, adding Rutgers, Rutgers sucks, okay? <laughs> no one watches Rutgers. They add nothing except for a TV market, like the number one TV market in America. And that's exactly why they added you. uh, USC and UCLA, Stanford and Cal, that's, you know, especially Cal, Cal, oh, what horrible, horrible team to have in your conference. However, that is also a giant market, the San Francisco Bay Area market, and they're wanting to close on that and have essentially the whole of California in the Big Ten. Now, Eugene, Oregon, you know, it's a nice place. I got family there. They love it. But as far as a TV market goes, eh, you know. Uh, Washington, however, that is Seattle. You know, you would basically own the Northwest with that. Oregon, you know, they are a threat to make the playoffs most years. They just are, especially with an expanded playoff of 12 teams. 
And this is why Commissioner Warren wants to do that. Now, of course, like like I said, you have other presidents that don't want to unless you can make up the difference. Like if, if they could bring in enough money and cover their own money where these other teams, you know, where Wisconsin or, or Penn State or Ohio State, if, as long as it doesn't affect their money, then I think they'll, they'll be cool with it. And this is why Commissioner Warren is now talking to Amazon so they, that way that full amount of money can be brought in and used for those teams and it's not going to affect the 16 teams you already have. Not to mention it does help with the travel because you would have a total of six teams on the West Coast. And, you know, of course you may have to take a trip out east, way out there, you know, once or twice a year. But that's not a big deal. It's not going to be every week. So, of course, my interest is the Big 12. This is where I live. This is, <laughs> I'm right in the middle of football country in Fort Worth, Texas. So, what does that mean for our Big 12? Well, that whole competition, you know, you can't have ESPN bidding, you know, against itself that's affecting the Pac-12 doesn't affect the Big 12 as much. I know the guy who wrote the article says, yeah, you know, that, that's a problem for the Big 12 as well. You know, they're going to have to go get streamers and all that. And I'm cool with that, whether it's Amazon or Apple TV. However, ESPN and Fox, they have content they need. This is why they call the Big 12, all right? Because th those that big gap, hundreds of millions of dollars, that that... That's a problem for ES ESPN. Now, they can't get away cheap as far as the Big 12. Because I, I guarantee you this is what's going on. They are calling us early and saying, Hey, we know you want to add Pac-12 schools. Here's, here's some schools that would greatly help us out as far as the content we need. This is what we'll pay for it. Now, if the Big 10 take their schools, the Big 12 take their schools there is no pac 12 anymore so there's no deal to be done right there's no 300 million dollars a year the espn has to dish out to the pac 12 there's no money that the that fox has to dish out to the pac 12 which they're not interested in doing anyway so they can get all the content they need from one place because look th this is why they called the big 12 right they called us because they got to secure this content. They got to know where they stand. And not just a few months before, you know, that, that Pac-12 you know, contract runs out. Not just six months to a year before the Big 12 contract is over. They want to get this crap lined up so they know what they're counting on. So that way they can sell what they need to sell to advertisers and make their money. And another thing that really helps out the Big 12 in all this is you had that game with BYU and Baylor. Now, that's the, that was the late night window. The late night window always gets like what? A million views every every single week. Well, with Baylor against BYU, that thing was like over 2 million viewers. It, that that was huge for that time slot. That tells ESPN and Fox that the Big 12 sells. The Big 12 brings you ratings. Not just the time slot, which you're getting close to a million. But you can double that up with the Big 12. Because look, Waco, it's a growing area. But it is not a top media market. What that's telling you is other places within the Big 12 watch that game. This is football country, people. You're talking Oklahoma, you're talking Texas, the mecca of football. And you're going to be talking about Ohio, which is a huge football state. You're going to be talking about Florida, another huge market for football. And this is one of the great things that no one talks about with the Big 12, man. Now that Texas and Oklahoma are taking their sorry asses out of here, you got some diehard Big 12 fans here. Yeah, you got Tech fans you got Oklahoma State fans, you got BYU fans, you, you got TCU fans, you got Baylor fans, Iowa State fans, West Virginia fans, all that crap. We all know this. However, 
by and large, everyone is, is so grateful to be part of the Big 12 and excited to be here. And you could just get, you get that feeling, man, from all these YouTubers that I watch all the time, you know, that I covered all these different teams and all these different markets. Everyone's truly excited to be here. That's what's cool about the Big 12. The fans of all these teams, it's not a ton of hate, man. I mean, if Oklahoma uh, State beats your team, that sucks. Oh, man. You know what? We're going to get you back next year. But however, if Oklahoma State wins the conference and goes on to the playoff, well, guess what? All the Big 12 teams are going to pull for that. You know, with, with, with Texas and Oklahoma, you know, Man, it, it just made things so polarizing, and it kind of sucked. All right, it sucked to be a Big 12 fan with those two teams. Now, it's fun. All right? Hey, if it ain't my team this year, at least let, let, let's see a couple of Big 12 teams go to that expanded playoff, and let's see them beat somebody. We're all going to be watching each other. And it's important that all Big 12 fans, you can't watch every game, obviously, but what... You know, watch some of it. Watch, you know, just because you're a Tech fan doesn't mean you can't watch a little Oklahoma State. Doesn't mean you can't watch a little Baylor or Houston when they get in here. You can watch some of these other teams and see how, how everyone's doing. That's you know, Support each other. But the thing is, you got so many rabid fans, they love watching this shit anyway. Or it's not like California. Well, I'm sorry. I know it's a great football state. It really is. Great recruiting grounds. No doubt about it. But the fan base, it ain't like the Big 12. It just isn't. They don't eat, breathe, and shit this stuff. Not like they do here. Now, personally, I thought something would have happened last month as far as the Big 12 going out there and getting Pac-12 teams. But they were waiting on the Big 10 to figure out their contract situation and any other teams they may take from the Pac-12. And we know now that's definitely going to happen, especially if they can get a deal done with Amazon and ESPN. Are they going to be willing to overpay the Big 12 or Fox overpay the Big 12? You kind of, you're kind of running out of options at that point. You're down to one conference, unless you want the Sun Belt or the Mountain West <laughs> to fill that content for you. You're kind of screwed. All right, you need the Big 12. And they, like I said before, they've shown they could bring you ratings. Yes, Baylor brings ratings from Waco, Texas. Now look, you're, you're not going to make Big 10 money. <laughs> That's not happening. You're not going to make SEC money. But you could definitely make uh, the third most powerful conference kind of money. We're talking $700 million a year plus. Oh yeah, that can happen. That can absolutely happen for the Big 12. But hey, if you're in the Pac-12, enjoy this year. <laughs> this may, may very well be your last year. So enjoy it. You know, <laughs> get yourself a big old Pac-12 blanket through the winter and just, you know, remember the good times because they're over. <laughs> Welcome to the Big 10 Welcome to the Big 12. There may be a school or two that ends up in the Mountain West. And hey, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. There's some good teams out there. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got on this crap. And I'll be back with some other crap later. Bye.